So this is the front of Ivanhoe Street. Uh, that for sale sign over there is a realtor, or will be a former realtor, kind of towards the slower part of Ivanhoe. Not a, a big garage. I can't fit two of my cars in there. Be a little bit on the smaller side. Probably same on the driveway to kind of give you an idea. Yeah, if I maybe if I hugged over completely, I would be able to. You'd be able to get your van in if I completely hugged one side. Wood siding. Looks like it's in great shape. Tiled floor in here. And then out straight out back will be the backyard closet area. Backyard to the shed. Oh, there's a little clothes hanger. Little fenced in garden too. Just a little cheap green stakes you put in and almost like a chicken wire. Here's the garage. So the depth of the garage or width of it is 18 feet, five inches, but that's completely everything. So that's doors and everything, not much. And the length of it is 21.1. Looks like it's in great shape though. The slab looks great. Beams look great. Nothing alarming in here. Let me go upstairs. Here's the living room. I'm trying to make it functional with entryways. Always the tough part when there's so many of them. So to that wall is 20 feet, five inches. And it looks like there's the cable. So that is where they have the TV. 13 feet, 10 inches here. Windows are updated. At least these, this big living room one is. See some neighbors in the backyard. Small little kitchen. That will be the Achilles on this house at this price range. When they get over two, they'll get a little pickier on the kitchen. You know, that being so small, that could be the, the problem child with this house selling. But with the inventory shortage, I don't know if someone will just overlook that. But it's a very small kitchen. There's a dishwasher. So you got the dishwasher with the stove. Newer appliances and gas. But just to kind of give you an idea from cupboard to cupboard, you're talking five feet, 11 inches. Uh, it might be hard to tell, but it looks like there's a rug in this little square area, just a little faded. It's not that noticeable. Bathroom, kind of just Menard's vanity. Menards insert. This is tile. Looks like a laundry chute above the toilet. Bedrooms aren't overly big. This one has a width of 10 feet 6 inches. And then from here to the closet door is 12.5 and here to this wall is 11.4. Might be a little bit older on the windows on this one. Not as new as the front one. Kind of give you the idea of where we're at. This room is just seems to be way small. So this width is 10 feet 6 inches. And then this wall is 12-2. 
That one also has a ceiling fan, just wanna point that out. Little linen pantry closet. There's the front door. So this one will be, we have 19 feet, three inches from this wall to that wall. And then you have 17 feet, seven inches here. It is solid wood, well not solid wood, but it's not that cheap wood paneling. A drop ceiling down here. Looks like older windows here. And I don't know how I feel about the snow just sitting right on the windows. Either way, it's, it's a quick fix, cheap fix, especially for what you're trying to do. Water heater's old, but not terrible. It just, um, I don't see the year on that one. But the furnace appears newer, which is more always more important. Washer and dryer look newer. Does have a sump pit and a pump. Hard to see what the basement walls are doing because that's styrofoam in between the wood and then this is some sort of laminate over it. Electrical box. There's the back side of the little downstairs living room. Oh, here's the laundry chute to catch it. Oh, there's a little PVC pipe that might snag it up though. That's kind of weird that it's uh, almost like they fireproofed this wall. kind of the same layout as upstairs then. This bathroom's a little narrower. I mean, just to give you an idea, the width is only four feet. This bedroom is also gonna be a little bit small. That'll be 10 feet, two inches by 10 feet, six inches. It comes with a, your own little wardrobe, Aaron. And then this room will be, and it's laminate floors, this is laminate. This is 10 feet, eight inches by 10 feet, eight. No wardrobe for Eddie, though. So the ceiling height here where there's duct work right above us will be six feet, 10 inches. And then where there isn't duct work will be seven feet, eight inches. Overall, carpet's not too bad and it's always so cheap to replace, but uh, nothing special about it, nothing too wrong about it. Just kind of, just carpet. I don't know, overall this house might be overpriced, but I'll, I'll make sure I'm seeing that uh, as a fact and not just shooting from the hip, but the smaller room sizes will be a, a problem for this one to sell. And also split entry. Let me know if you have any questions.